Hello everyone, Jeff the Green Review here. Branches that are going to become the permanent scaffold branches on a tree need to have a wide angle of attachment if possible. The branches should separate from the trunk with an angle of greater than 60 degrees, so you should be closer to horizontal. Narrow, almost vertical branches that are less than 30 degrees are much more likely to break. So branches that are up, that are pointing closer to the t straight up that the tree trunk is, those are the ones that are going to separate and break off. The ones that are more horizontal are the ones that are going to stay stable with the loads of leaves or snow or ice or whatever comes along in the future. Scaffold branches are the branches that remain in the tree after the proper height and size are reached for that location. They need to be evenly distributed vertically around and up the trunk and radially around the trunk. Vertically, the branches on shade trees should be at least two feet apart, but on smaller ornamental trees they can be as close as six inches. Scaffold branches should be distributed around the tree so that they are not overlapping, not too many on one side. There should be uh, you know, a space vertically, but also a space around the tree. At least five sca scaffold branches can be arranged around the trunk. They should not be growing above each other because that's where too much shade can be on the lower branches. The crown, which is the area with the branches, should be two-thirds of the total trunk, and the other one-third is the bare trunk at the bottom. So it shouldn't be 50-50, it shouldn't be you know, one-third at the top with a big long trunk, it should be two-thirds at the top and one-third at the bottom. Narrow, upright growing trees are useful in narrow spaces such as for street trees, and narrow urban streets, or as a tall screen to block bad views. If this shape can be maintained with a single trunk and properly spaced scaffold branches, the tree will last for many years. If the tree grows several trunks that are vertical and spaced close together, or if it has vertical branches growing off the horizontal branches, the tree is destined to fail when a wind or an ice storm comes along and splits the tree trunks apart. As those trunks grow larger in diameter, the bark will begin touching and dead stuff decays and the center of those trees will begin rotting away. So as you look at pruning for your small trees that are going to grow into be your big shade trees, look to see which branches are going to be the best for scaffold branches that are vertically and radially arranged on the tree and prune out the other ones that are weaker so that those scaffold branches can maintain their health. And this is Jeff with the Green Review. Thanks for watching.